Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do an unboxing from Stinky Tuna, so stick around. So I recently had a friend who um, helped me out with a purchase from Sticky Tuna. There were some titles that I wanted, and so I um, had them do an order for me, which I'm really thankful that they were able to do that. And today I'm going to take time to unwrap these and show you the titles that I picked up. I really do wish that I was able to order directly from Sticky Tuna. But um, I've been able to do that in the past, but for whatever reason, I haven't been able to do that in a few years, um, ever since they changed their website out. And so I'm not really sure what instigates being able to stay a member. Maybe they didn't like the fact that I was doing videos. So... But I do, I, I really appreciate being able to get these titles. I wish that they would get a mainstream um, release, but until that happens, I'm okay with getting these kind of titles added to the collection. They did wrap it very well, which is nice. So um, I went through the whole list of the, the titles that they had available, and these are the ones that I came up with. Most of these are ones that I've already seen on Netflix. Um, but first up, we have Gerald's Game in 1922. I really enjoyed both of these on Netflix and um, really wanted to have a physical media release of these. And so I got that. Um, I got Panic Room from jo with Jodie Foster. Don't know why this hasn't had a proper release, um, but I do enjoy Panic Room. I have been watching a lot of Jodie Foster films here lately. And then I got Creep and Creep 2, the double feature. Really wish we would get a proper release for this one. I got Hush. I'm a big fan of Michael Flanagan, and I really enjoyed this one on Netflix. Very different type of home invasion film. If you've never seen Hush, definitely check that out. I got Werewolf by Night. I really enjoyed this one um, on Disney+. Plus. Very well done. Really liked it, so I wanted to have that one in the collection. Um, the Village, I know a lot of people don't like The Village, but I really enjoyed The Village. And um, so I really wanted to have that one in the collection. So happy to have that one. Um, of course, I got Dahmer. I really enjoyed the Netflix miniseries for Dahmer. Um, very good um, acting and storytelling. And... Um, very familiar with the case, so it was really nice to see something properly done um, for the Jeffrey Dahmer story. And then lastly, I got Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. I really wish we would get a proper release for this one. So those are the titles that I decided that I wanted to select to order. And very happy that I was able to get these. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I selected. And also let me know if you've ever purchased anything from Stinky Tuna. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell. So that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.